Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is a top 5 Brawl Ball list. So we've done a top 5, top five Brawlers list recently and I asked you guys during a premiere what you guys favorite 3v3 3B, 3B3 mode and by far was it Brawl Ball. Basically 9 out of 10 people said it was Brawl Ball so I thought why not let's make a top 5 Brawl Ball list. Now I was thinking about 5 Brawlers, took me about 30 minutes today. I consulted some other pros and we figured there's about 6 Brawlers that are... A, a good amount better than the than the rest and I couldn't really decide exactly what my top five is gonna be So it's gonna be kind of like a top six. I guess I'm gonna have my honorable mention but With that being said, let's just hop into the games and let's talk about what the top five brawlers in Brawl Ball are So coming in at number six with our honorable mention we have Frank so Frank Obviously he's up here because he's a really good brawler We made we put him in the honorable mentions for our top five brawlers in the game and he definitely his best mode is Brawl Ball so Frank Obviously has a top five super in the game. Frank is really really strong with his super. He has the most HP in Brawl Stars Which obviously makes him a lethal weapon Amazing HP which makes him a really great goal scorer You can do things like this such as just pick up the ball walk forward and take a shot He can also do things like counter a lot of really good Brawl Ball Brawlers um, He does a good job against a lot of control brawlers, which is really good He's obviously as I said a really good goal scorer an additional thing that's really good is he breaks walls, which is really important, obviously, in Brawl Ball, which breaking walls is hugely important. He's great at defense with all of his HP. Um, he, unfortunately, he does have a few downsides, though. He's not great in all maps. Some maps such as Backyard Bowl, um, he's obviously not as great in because it's more of a ranged map and he doesn't do so well. He kind of just charges supers. Um, he does get easily countered uh, with brawlers such as like Tara or Shelly. You can stun a super, and then obviously his super gets very easily canceled by a lot of brawlers. So he does have his really big pros, but he does also have his really big negatives, which is why he's going to be number six in an honorable mention and outside of the top five. So let's hop into number five. Let's show you guys what the number five brawler in Brawl Ball is. So coming in at number five, we have Gene. And it feels like Gene's kind of making the outskirts of every single top five because he's not dynamic enough or big play enough for him to be at the number one or number two spot. But at the same time, he's just so solid and he has such great control. He's such a good brawler that he always just ends up making the top five. So for Gene... Obviously, he does not get countered by anything, which is probably the best part about him. You can always win your matchups if you keep your distance or get closer dependent on the brawler. He does not get countered by any brawler in the game. His healing star power is very strong in Brawl Ball right now. It's one of the most underrated star powers. A lot of the time in Brawl Ball, you're clumped together and 400 heal per second is actually really important. Unfortunately, it doesn't heal Gene, but it does heal your teammates, which is really, really good. He's good on every single Brawl Ball map as he can do well mid-range cl up close. Well, you don't get too up close, but fairly up close and obviously he's good at range so this makes gene really good on every single map he has a top two super in the game top five for brawl ball since it's more better in like siege or gem grab but it's still top five brawl ball super he's a really good free to play brawler does have two good star powers he can break walls although it is a little bit harder to break walls he is a good defender he does have good range but the only downside doesn't do a ton of damage, which is very important in Brawl Ball doing damage. Since there's a lot of tankier units, a lot of high HP units, and a lot of big damage dealing units. So he's going to be number five because although he has all those pluses, unfortunately, he just doesn't do enough damage to be a top end brawler. So anyways, let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what the number four brawler in the game is. So coming in at number four, we're going to have Sandy. So Sandy... He's a really good brawler, obviously. He was number three on our overall list, and we're going to have her at number four. Or him. I'm just going to call it a brawler, okay? I, I always mess this one up. I don't remember. So Sandy does have a top five super for Brawl Ball. Very good at control, obviously. A very good free-to-play brawler as well, so you don't necessarily need star powers for Sandy to be OP. It's good on very many very much just, just a ton of brawl ball maps now there are there are a couple where sandy isn't great such as backyard bowl with frank because it doesn't have amazing range but sandy can compensate in basically every single map now sandy is very good for control probably the best control brawler in the game because of the super there are a few downsides to sandy though unfortunately kind of does average damage has average hp does not break any walls is not a great goal scorer and is not a great defender so i originally had sandy a little bit higher on this list but due to the fact that it just doesn't do enough damage and doesn't have a ton of health and can't break walls we're gonna have it at number four instead of the top three so let's hop into the next games right here and let's show you guys what the top three brawlers for brawl ball are so coming in at number three and in the top first brawler in the top three position we're going to have carl now carl i left him out of my top five brawlers and i even left him out of the honorable mentions because of his recent nerf but carl could easily have been in the honorable mentions or even easily have been in the top five right now there isn't too many brawlers that can say that about themselves or that can 
actually be that good. And Carl's actually a pretty well-rounded brawler. You can play him in Siege, Iced, Brawl Ball, and in uh, Gem Grab. So you can actually do a lot with Carl. But Carl's best mode is most definitely Brawl Ball. So Carl is good on all Brawl Ball maps, which is really, really good. He has a very good super and two very amazing star power. So you can either play a more tanky game if you want to use Poco and just be a little bit more tanky and be more effective with your supers. You guys can use the shield star power. But if you guys want to have constant pressure, play more control and just try and hold people back, the first star power is really amazing for that. Um, he has very good HP. He actually has 6k HP, which is really high for a control brawler. Um, he has good damage as well. He can do, what is it? I think 16, uh, I don't even know what it is. 1680, I think, if you get both shots, which majority of the time you do hit both of the shots, which is really good. Super is easily canceled, though, which is the only, like, one of the only negative parts about Carl. Again, any type of stun is going to cancel his super, and a lot of things actually can counter him, such as, such as a Shelly, a Daryl, um, a Tara, a Frank. A lot of things can easily counter Carl so that's why he's only going to be number two instead of top three um and again a big unfortunate thing about Carl the only other downside is that he does not break walls and breaking walls is very important in Brawl Ball although he is a good defender and a decent goal scorer you got to be able to break walls for you to be a top 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 tier brawler and that is why he is not going to be number one and he's going to be at the number three spot so after this let's hop into the number two spot this one i thought was going to be number one but i ended up making something else number one so let's hop into it and let's talk about what the number two brawler is in brawl ball so coming in at number two we're going to have max now max has completely changed the way Brawl Stars is played, actually. There we used to be three different metas, range, control, and tank, but now we have this whole fourth thing, which is basically speed and max. Every comp in that section is centered around max. Max is an incredible brawler for this and has totally changed the way, actually, a lot of people play, both in ladder and competitively. So Max is a top two Brawl Ball brawler. It is a top two Brawl Ball super outside of our number one brawler for Brawl Ball. Just a very good all-around brawler, very, very strong at that matter. Uh, too bad I missed that uh, trick shot. That would have been a really nice one. But definitely a really good all-around brawler. Above average speed, which is obviously extremely important for Brawl Ball. Speed is something that's extremely important. Um, high damage. A decent defender. Not amazing. A decent goal scorer. Again, not amazing. And two different star powers that can be played totally according to whatever playstyle you like. And I really like brawlers like that. They can have two different playstyles according to what you like. Now, the only downside to this brawler is that it gets countered and it's one and only counter is the number one brawler in brawl ball and that is the only reason why it is not the number one brawler so with that being said let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what the number one brawler in brawl ball is so coming in at spot number one we have no other than tara now this one is probably a little bit of an obvious pick if you guys didn't see it already on the list tara has the best super in the game and it is absolute dominant godly amazing in brawl ball best super in the game and the best mode for it is brawl ball and it just completely carries any single team just one super so tara outside of the super is a good defender mostly because of her super but has good damage and additionally her cards can go through people so it can pierce and not only damage one person good goal score due to her super um, you can just get every single brawler you want wrapped up in one location where they can't even pick up the ball while they're in that super. And it's just amazing value and just amazing damage, just amazing everything. Um, above average damage, about average HP, average speed, obviously an, an incredible brawler. Um, good star powers, both of them, but she's also a really good free to play brawler. So again, another brawler that you can be really good with star powers, but also really good without the star powers. It counters max, which is a huge thing. It counters this whole speed meta. It just slows them down and it puts them in one location. It just doesn't allow them to run away, run all fast. Just put them all into one black hole and it's just a really easy counter. Um, can change the game in literally one second, which is obviously super important. And I just mean, I can't say enough about this brawler. You guys just saw on display the defense that she has. Really easy. She's able to pick up her super again. You solo pull somebody and you have basically a guaranteed kill in three quarters of your super back. Just an amazing brawler. I can't 
stress enough about how good Tara is, and that is why she's going to get the number one spot in Brawl Ball and complete this top five list. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this top five list or kind of this top six if you include Frank. The reason I decided to do Brawl Ball, again, is because all you guys talk about how much you guys love Brawl Ball. So I'm definitely going to be pumping out a lot of Brawl Ball videos compared to the other modes. I'm thinking about making a showdown guide, but I'm not sure. The other 3v3 modes I just th think aren't played enough for me to make a guide as of now. But if you guys want to see some guides, let me know. But anyways, that's going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, there's going to be premieres every video, so make sure you guys try and come out to the premieres videos every day. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.